Okay, this is number eight out of the top ten uh, picking patterns that you should learn when you're starting to pick. Um, and we start with finger picking because that is the um, first step to being able to pick with a with your actual pick, or just um, picking with thumb picking, or being able to sing and pick, um, or even be able to play chords. We don't want to focus on chords right now. We want to focus on the right hand. If you're uh, if you're playing the guitar right-handed, we want to focus on the right hand which is the picking pattern itself and getting good hand positioning, correct finger positioning, um, and then also practicing this perfectly at the slow tempo that will allow us to increase our tempo in the future once we can play this pattern nine or ten times straight through without messing up or having a problem. Then if we have a metronome, we increase the tempo of the metronome to play a little bit faster. But let's start with uh, this pattern which is the number eight pattern in the top ten, and it's going to sound like this. This is without, of course, playing a chord. Um, we could play a chord and sound like this. Out first, just to isolate this hand, so it's going to sound like this: four one together, four one together, two three one four one three, four one together, two three one four one three, four one together, two three one four one three, four one together, two three one four one three. The fingers itself are thumb and second finger, first finger, thumb, second finger, thumb, one, three, I think that was not right, let's see, thumb and second finger, first finger, thumb, second finger, thumb, second finger, thumb, like that, so, Thumb and two, one, thumb, two, thumb, two, thumb. So it's a little a longer pattern to learn, uh, but practice that slowly right here. So it's going to be thumb and one together. So thumb and second finger together. First finger, thumb on the third string. Then you have your second finger on the first string. Then your thumb on the fourth string. And then your second finger on the first string again. And then third string, first, uh, third string, first thumb. So let's try it a little bit without me fumbling over the words. Let's try that. So thumb and two, thumb two, one, thumb, one, thumb, one, thumb, thumb two, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, uh, two, thumb, thumb two, one, thumb, two, thumb, two. Thumb. So those are the, the fingers that you're using. Um, the that's how you, that's which fingers you're going to use here in the right hand. So let's try it again. Now, if you're using a metronome, you're going to tap it on the downbeat, which is uh, the eighth note is going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. You're actually skipping one eighth note in this pattern, and it's the very last eighth note after the fourth beat. So. One and two and three and four and we don't play anything on the and at the very end. So one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four like that. So that is the eighth pattern. We're gonna play the fifth five string pattern now. We're gonna scoot our fingers down one string. Remember we kind of assign our fingers to certain strings in this pattern. So we actually keep the thumb on the fourth string and the third string 
and our first and second fingers go on the second and first string in this uh, pattern here. Okay, so we're going to move that up to the fifth string. So we're going to play the same finger finger position. The same fingers are going to play. We're going to play a different string now, and we're all moving it down in the bass a little bit. So it's going to go. Five, two, three, four, two, five, two, four, five, two together, three, four, four, two, five, two, four, five, two together, three, four, five, two, five, two, four, five, two together, three, four, two, five, two, four, like that. And then if you want to play the sixth string pattern, you just move your bass note and you play the six in the and the four in this pattern, six and four, so. The thing about these picking patterns is each one, when you're playing a six string bass note, you can actually alternate the bass. You don't have to play the 6-4. It's just good to start that way. In the future, you may want to actually add um, maybe a 5th string bass, a 6th and a 5th string bass, whichever one is appropriate for the pattern you're playing. So if, in the, if I'm playing the G and I want to play the, the G note and then the B, instead of um, the G and then the D, which is the 4th string pat note, I can just do that instead. So it's going to be like this if I play the 5th string. note. I just do it that way. Okay, so let's play um, all that together with the D starting, then go into the C to the fifth string pattern, then the G and the uh, sixth string pattern. So D starts with me. One, two, ready, play. Last time, and C. lesson which is lesson uh, number nine for next week um, we'll see you then